Hello and welcome to this new video on ASP.NET. Today we will talk about validation summary control. Like all other validation controls, it's very easy to use. The purpose of validation con uh, summary control is to show all the error message on a single location. And uh, you will see that in the demo in a few moments. In this lesson, we will use the uh, the project from the previous video. If you remember, we have video on required field validator and regular expression validator control. We will use that project and modify it to include validation summary control in it. So the first thing you should do is to right click on this cell and add a row above it. There we go. Now just select these two rows, click on modify and then merge cell. Now add validation summary control to it. First we need to change a few properties of required field validator control and regular expression validator control. So let's get started. If you remember when we were uh, working with uh, required field validator control and regular expression validator control we have we, we set at that time error message property and we have enter some value to it click on this error message property and here you will see error message to display in a validation summary when the validation validated control is invalid so whatever you write in this property will come up into this validation summary control and display it there now if you want a different message here all you can do is to set a text property in this case we will add a steric like any standard uh, websites all the website have this to show you that these fields are mandatory you have to enter the value in these fields so let's use that convention that's all we have to change now run the application before doing any entering any value just click on the send button and there we go see these two fields are mandatory you have to enter the value here it shows please enter your name and telling you that you should enter some value here and then please enter your email address and also showing you that that you have to enter some value here as well so let's put some value here for example John we will not write a correct format for email address here we will just write John as well and click on send button see email is not a correct format in this case it's showing the error message from regular expression where data control now let's add yahoo.com to it or enter there we go now it's showing us that everything is okay and the error message is gone as you see it's so easy to use validation summary control and how effective it is to be included into your website now before I finish this video I want to show you you can add a few more things to your validation summary control if you want you can also add a, te uh, a message box which will be displayed if there is any errors in the in the form just select true here now 
before entering anything just click on send button there we go by setting that property uh, show message box we have now message box another useful property you can add is the add a text property just write some header please enter correct values in the text boxes before sending your details you can add something else but here I add these things now run the application again and click on send button there we go errors please enter correct values in the text box we send before sending your details click OK and there we go so as you see it's so easy to use validation summary control and with this I conclude this video thanks for watching bye now